here so welcome back to another speed building video and this time it's super special because well I've been gone for two and a half weeks or so something like that but also the new parenthood game pack came out and it is so awesome <laughs> like I had so much fun using the build and buy content it is really really good I it's super homey and super cute like I felt like I had a bunch of like custom content or something in my game and I was like cheating or something because it was so much fun and it took me so I didn't really actually check out how long it took me to build this but I feel like it took a long time I want to say probably four hours which is pretty ridiculous since it's not really that big of a house <laughs> and it's I don't know it's just I just like stumble you know just went through all the like gallery items and try no, yeah not gallery items uh what do you call that whatever catalog items um I went through the items a lot trying to figure out what I thought would look nice what I thought would make sense and just kind of exploring the new items is what I'm trying to say but um yeah super awesome if you guys haven't got it into your game it's one that I would definitely definitely suggest you guys getting because it's really really cool um uh not so much the cast items though i wasn't too impressed by those uh some of the outfits were pretty cute but i really didn't like that we got two versions of that really ugly ombre hair sorry if you like that hair but i really didn't like it i think it's really ugly even for an edgy kind of style it's still not that good I don't know not my cup of tea anyhow but I really like the one with the braid and the guy's hair is nice wish we would have got another guy hair and a little bit disappointed that we only got one kid's hair but I don't know uh, that's the only complaint I have is the cast items but I'm usually not that excited about cast items anyways because I use so much custom content for my sims so it's kind of like meh I get custom content anyways so well but anyways the build content you guys I mean I'm sure you if I mean if you're watching my channel you're obviously interested in the sims so you've probably been watching reviews or overviews of the pack or got it yourself so I'm sure you have seen how cool the build items are I haven't done any gameplay yet because I have only been back from vacation for about a day or so I mean I've been home but I've still been on vacation my husband had up until Monday off of work so yeah, it actually was perfect timing because the game pack came released on Tuesday. It's now Wednesday, so I got the pack on Tuesday, and then I was able to kind of go through it and play around with it. But I didn't want to start um, back onto my channel until he was ready to go back to work because, you know, he works a lot, and it's really important to spend time together. So to spend the rest of the time, um, yeah, spend time with him. But anyways, back to this pack. So um, I'm sure you guys have been watching all the the reviews and everything so you probably know how awesome items are but the kitchen counters are so good I was watching um earlier this morning I was watching I think little Simsy's fixer upper and she said it was better than the cool kitchen counters and I think she heard that from somebody else or was that somebody else I can't remember somebody I was watching this morning was saying how it was better than the cool kitchen and I completely agree and yeah, they're just they're really good. <laughs> and all the little decoration items, like the bathroom decor with the little hair dryer and just a little tray with goodies. Like, that's my favorite kind of stuff. Oh, and the couches have pillows. That is something that we need on all of our couches. Just throw pillows. Like, how many how many couches have you ever owned that you don't put pillows on? Like, at least for me, or gone to people's houses where they don't have pillows. Like, there's not very many people I know that don't have throw pillows. <laughs> So I'm really excited about that. I do wish we had a couple though that were just uh, like free to use pillows, like decor items that we could just throw around, but that's okay. Hopefully it'll come someday, but if, if not, if it doesn't come, I'm still really excited about it. The only thing though that I think is annoying is the furniture doesn't exactly match each other. You have to be a little bit more creative with using them together, which I wish they were more of a complete set. So yeah, that's a bit, a bit annoying, but they look really good. So, oh well. But anyway, so with this house, I kind of had a set idea in mind. I really wanted to use this roof color, uh, <laughs> which is probably a kind of an odd thing to want to use, but I wanted to use a brighter use roof color for the suburban home. Cause I feel like when I do suburban home, I do gray or black and that's okay. I think it looks nice, but I want to do something more bright and fun since I feel like this pack is a little bit more kind of fun. It's kind of silly and meant for kids, uh, not meant for kids, but centered around kids and families and fun things. So I wanted this house to look 
fun. So fun roof color and more fun wallpapers. And I wanted it to have a lot of bedrooms. So it does have four bedrooms. They're kind of small because it's not a very big house because I wanted it to be uh, like, you know, a big house, but a small house at the same time. I wanted there to be lots of rooms, but it not to be like open and grand. I wanted it to look more average without being average. So um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to explain that too well. And I might stumble over my words a little bit because this is the first commentary that I've done in yeah two and a half weeks. So I'm happy to be back though. I, I really miss doing this. I like the first week or so, it wasn't really that bad. I didn't really think about it that much. But after the second week was about over, I was like, oh, I really miss playing The Sims. Cause I, had it, I haven't opened up my game since I went on vacation. So I really miss playing The Sims, really miss, miss making videos. And especially with the new pack coming out, I was like, oh man, I can't wait to get back into it. So yeah, this is the first build I did coming back into the game. Um, I want to do a room build based on the pack. I think I want to do a couple teen rooms or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe just apartments. I'm not really sure. But if you have any ideas or want to see anything specifically, you can of course let me know because that would be very helpful um, to yeah, think of things to do. I'm very excited. Um, but anyway, so last I left you guys off on was an apartment build and I told you that I was off to graduation. I was going to spend time with my mother and my grandmother. And I was also going to go out to Catalina Island with my husband. So that's exactly what I did. And I had the best time. So graduation was a graduation. Nothing too exciting. I mean, I passed my classes, so we know I'm getting my diploma for sure. <laughs> I'm very excited. I think it's actually going to be sent to my mother's house or my parents' house at anyhow because when I applied for graduation, I didn't know where I was going to be living because my husband and I were selling our home and we weren't sure where we were going to be living when I graduated. So yeah, I think it's going to be sent to them. So hopefully my parents will promptly mail it to me so I can get it. I think, um, hopefully it doesn't take too long, maybe sometime in June or July. The last diploma I got was from a community college and I think that's about how long it took. It took about a month after graduation for me to get the actual diploma in the mail. So very excited for that. I'm yeah, it was not too long. Like usually graduations, oh my God, there's like speeches and speeches and you know, uh, returning alumni and things that they gotta talk about. And it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was really early in the morning. Like the ceremony started at 7 a.m. I had to be there at 5 a.m. for some awful reason, uh, just basically to stand around and make sure everybody was there. I think um, we were not exactly there at five. We were more there at like 5.30. So yeah, it worked out nice. We had. Uh, we had like lunch afterwards and we were all really tired because since I do li live two hours away from the college that I was going to, and in case you don't know, I um, have moved a lot and so I was taking online classes and whatever. I had to, uh, I had to commute this last semester of college and it was a two hour drive so I did have to drive two hours to go celebrate my graduation and my mom, my grandmother, my husband, and my husband's best friend all came and celebrated with me. And of course we had other friends and stuff there for other people that we know are graduating. So yeah, it was a lot of people and so fun. Um, and then my mom, my grandma stayed for five more days, I think after my graduation, four or five more days, something like that. And we went to a wine festival, which I drank way too much wine. And you know, there's another wine festival coming up here pretty soon that we're probably gonna go to for my birthday, which I'm very excited about. Um, and that one's like later, it's more of like an evening wine festival, which I think makes a lot more sense because the wine festival we just went to my, with my mom and my grandma was like in the afternoon. It started at like noon and ended at four. You don't need to be drinking that much wine in the afternoon. Um, so the next one um, is gonna be later in the day. So I think that'll be much better and hoping that one of my really good friends will go with me as well as my husband and her husband. So kind of like a double date, maybe a couple other friends too. but. Yeah, that'll be a fun celebration for my birthday. I will be turning 28 years old. Oh my goodness, the time flies. Um, and yeah, so I went to that festival. And then other than that, we just kind of hung out, did some gardening. My mom bought me a bunch of plants for graduation because she knows how much I enjoy my garden. And yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Um, really good to spend some time with my grandma. She doesn't make it down here very often since they do live a state away. And then my husband and I went to Catalina Island and we didn't stay for a very long time. It was a short trip, but it was really nice. My husband gets really seasick though. So I felt really bad because he has, um, we had to take a ferry out there. Like there's only ferries into there unless you have your own boat. 
or else you fly. And I've never looked into flying there because I think that's probably pretty expensive. I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, the ferry ride isn't too bad. So uh, <laughs> I just realized that we're already on into the interior and I haven't really talked about the build, but we'll get to it in just a moment. Um, but yeah, uh, he gets really seasick, so he, tests, he takes um, like Dramamine medication that's supposed to ease seasickness or just motion sickness in general, so it kind of makes him dreary for the rest of the day. So I felt pretty bad for him, but once he was all back to normal, we had margaritas and we walked around and kind of explored. It's just kind of a small coastal town, but on an island. I don't know. I shared some pictures on Twitter. And it's just it's just kind of a cool place. It's a place to go relax. We did we went to the museum there, as well as this cool old um, they call it a casino, but it's actually a theater and ballroom, which was built like kind of Art Deco style. Actually, it is Art Deco Art Deco style, not kind of. Um, and you know, so we got to tour that, and it was really you know just really cool. We did super touristy stuff, even though we've been there before. We went to the other side of the island, so this side was completely new. Um, but anyways, and then we spent the rest of the time, you know, a few days at home just kind of hanging out together and pretty much enjoying our time. But, um, so to this build, there is an entryway right here, which has so much clutter. Not right now, right now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, but I put like backpacks and like sporting equipment and just things that I thought all the kids would just throw in the front, you know, as they run in the front door. And yeah, I thought that was pretty pretty cute idea um and later on I okay I kind of wish I would have left these rugs I do it off camera I change the colors to a more neutral color and then I put a fireplace in here which I like the fireplace but now looking back I kind of like the bright rugs too so if you decide to download this off the gallery you might want to switch those back depending on your taste if you like the orange and blue rugs because I don't know I just wanted to like I said, make this house more fun and kind of have a cartoony look to it as well. So I wanted it to look more, I don't know, just fun and kind of cartoony. So yeah, little play nook right here too, by the way, which is super cute. It has the only computer in the house because I wanted it to be not super like, it's not a luxurious family home. It's like an average family home and it costs about 109,000 simoleons, which isn't too bad considering that it is a four bedroom house. But um, yeah, it's... It's meant to be for like your normal family, this normal large family. So yeah, the only computer in the house, so you can come in here and use it, or the kids can play in here. Just kind of a little space that's not really an office, but not really a playroom. It's just, you know, they just use the space that they have to kind of make it as useful as possible. Um, but this is all the clutter that I'm pulling out for the entryway. I do kind of just a little dresser and a mirror and a coat rack and a shoe rack and then just backpacks and lunch pails and <laughs> just things that are super cute and I think I also put in that cute little like popsicle stick um uh kind of a yeah popsicle stick bouquet or planter box or whatever you want to call it I do that on the table for that just thought oh something special that you know the kids made for Mother's Day or Father's Day or something like that and then we want to proudly keep it by the front door as well as the this soccer frame or whatever you call it um, but yeah, so I hope, I don't know, I hope you guys had a good time in my absence. It, it felt really weird not uploading anything for so long. I felt like, I don't know, I felt like everybody was going to run away and be like, oh, her channel's dead. But I mean, lots of people did watch my video where I did say that I didn't have time to pre-record it like I had wanted to. So yeah, which is really unfortunate, but you know, maybe, maybe later on when I'm better at organizing or now that I'm done with you know college and stuff now I'll have a better planning I <laughs> guess I won't have any exams to worry about I am job hunting though so that might be another thing that comes up later on that'll set back videos a little bit but um yeah hopefully not too much I mean if it sets it back oh well I gotta make money and I don't know if you guys know this but YouTube takes a long time to make any money off of so I'm not really making anything right now so um yeah it'll be um it would be good to get a job though. I don't know what I can do. There's not really many jobs in my field. I've been considering doing other things. I was actually going to take a test to become a substitute teacher, but I decided to put that off. Um, see if I could find something that's actually in the area of my degree, which I got a degree in um, geological sciences. So 
um, if I could find something, I really want to try it out. Even though I'm not too excited about working as a geologist, I think I should at least give my degree a shot. Oh, okay. And so I have the kitchen laid out right here and I had realized I forgot a stove. So I had to completely redo the layout. I mean, not super redo it, I guess. Just kind of move things around. But something else that's a little bit annoying with the color swatches in this pack is that the countertops don't exactly match the frame around the fridge. Even though they came together and they're supposed to match, these blues are a slightly different blue. <laughs> and that's pretty annoying. But I mean, oh well, I made it. I just, I kept it in anyways but um yeah it's just something that's a little bit irritating that they wouldn't match it exactly I don't know I don't want to be complaining because I really do love this pack it's one of the best ones I think we have it's definitely I've heard some people say already that it's gonna be like the favorite pack of people I mean it's probably gonna be up there it's up there for me um, as far as game packs go they're just the best like if you really want a lot of content and not spend too much money get a game pack because stuff packs are great but they're not I mean like for instance the bowling stuff was our last stuff pack and it was good as far as um I really like the like the style of furniture I really like the one particular chair the most and I mean bowling's not that great it's cool to have more activities but um yeah it's ten dollars and this was twenty dollars in US anyways I'm not sure how that translates to other currencies but um yeah, for 20 bucks, I think this is like well, well worth it. I mean, I haven't even gotten into the gameplay, but I'm sure there are, you know, lots of things to explore. I mean, I should probably watch <laughs> some people play it. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, game packs are where it's at. Like Dine Out and Spa Day, and I'm drawing a blank on other ones, but I think game packs are awesome. <laughs> Looking forward to the next expansion. I'm really hoping for pets. Crossing my fingers, crossing my toes, crossing my arms behind my back I don't know crossing everything um, but anyways if you are curious if they can get to that dining room table or not they can I did play test it and another room that is pretty cramped is the master bedroom and I did play test that one that one took a little while to get to work so I'll explain that more when we get to it but this is gonna be the laundry room slash bathroom I decided to divvy it up into two separate rooms here in just a moment because um, yeah, thought that it made more sense to walk through the laundry room to a bathroom rather than to walk through a bathroom to the laundry room or have them all be one room. And since we are going to get a laundry pack uh, probably next year sometime or sometime by the fall maybe, I'm not really sure, hopefully hopefully sooner than later, but it's the one that we are all voting on the Eco Living Stuff Pack is supposedly supposed to come with laundry. So I've been thinking about making more of an effort to include laundry rooms more often that way when we do get the pack and you want to add the real washing and washing machine and dryer then you can easily switch them out but um yeah little laundry room and it's also like the downstairs bathroom that the guests would use when they came over it does have a shower a sink and a toilet so that makes it really nice um to yeah <laughs> since you could have a lot of uh Sims living here. I was only going to put one bathroom upstairs, but then I decided that I wanted an ensuite bathroom. So, yeah, I think that's why the the parents' room ended up being so cramped. So, if you didn't like how cramped it is, then you could obviously, you know, just leave the one bathroom that's like the children's bathroom. But we'll get on upstairs in just a moment. Now, I did have to cut out a few things, but um, not too bad though in this build, so because like. When I first edited the footage, or not edited it, but like sped it up, it was 45 minutes long and I didn't want it to be over 30 because since I haven't done a voiceover in so long, I was like doing even 30 minutes is going to take a while. So I think this is probably about 25, 26 and then the last several minutes are uh, lots of screenshots. So definitely check out the screenshots because I tried to get many angles of the house and this, okay, I have to take a moment. That shower and bath rug is so cute <laughs> with the little whales. I love it. And there's also an elephant one, which is so cute. And I'm sure Relevant Sims is just so excited about that um, because uh, it's adorable. But anyways, as you can see, the front door is poking up through the flooring. So I do change out the door in just a moment as well as the back door because originally I had the medium wall height and didn't like it the way it looks. So I brought the house down to the small wall height. See right here, I just had to change out for the doors because I thought that I could leave it and I would be able to situate things to cover it up. But I didn't want to put the sink 
underneath the window because then the mirror would have to go over the window and things like that just annoy me a lot. But anyways, that was the family bathroom and this is the little toddler slash nursery room. And this new wallpaper with the hearts is so cute. Like the wallpapers in this pack are so good. They have so many swatches. And like the one with the paneling is nice and simple and plain and you could add it to like any build. And this one right here, I use the heart version and then I use one with the soccer balls in another room. So, but there are tons more. There's more plain ones without any sort of like symbols or anything that you could use more like general rooms of the house rather than uh, kids bedrooms. But yeah, I thought this would be for just a little toddler and you know, I put a bassinet in here so you could easily just have a baby and then have it age up to a toddler. Then you could get rid of the bassinet and yeah, replace it with whatever you want or yeah, whatever you need to do. But it's a pretty small bedroom, so as the kid ages, it's going to get probably a little bit crowded, but oh well, somebody's got to have the closet bedroom. So, <laughs> uh, oh, and that's oh, that table right there. Okay. So when people, when the sim gurus were asking on Twitter for people to send pictures and suggestions of things that we, they want to see in the game, I asked them for a, like a side table that was skinny. And I mean, I'm sure they didn't do this because of my comment, because I'm sure they already had that made by the time, but, but, but it, it was made. So <laughs> somebody out there was listening to somebody saying they wanted a skinnier table. So, so, so excited about that. But this is the master bedroom. And as you can see, I'm trying to fit the bed in here. And I thought about pushing it against the wall and yeah, but I don't know how that works exactly. I've heard that people got it to work and people haven't got it to work, but then I wasn't sure how it works for like woohoo and stuff. So, um, as it is right now, it doesn't work, uh, for the right side of the bed, but when I play test it, I kind of just slightly nudge it around to get it to where the sin could walk on both sides of the bed. So it's super cramped, but it does work. So yeah, but like I said, you could get rid of the bathroom over here and make the other bedroom. Probably the master bedroom would probably be the easiest way to do it, but yeah. And then another thing that I do is I change out the colors of those carpets to the more neutral version, like I mentioned in the living room. I'm kind of regretting my decision on that, but after I built it and I was going in to take screenshots and do my playtesting, they just seemed so kind of ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe that was bad judgment. But looking back on it now, I kind of like the bright colored um, carpet. So, yeah. Oh, well. You know, you live and you learn and you can always change that to whatever you want because the link will be in the description box, of course. And this is the parents' ensuite bathroom. It just has stand-up shower, toilet, and sink. Nothing too too special but oh, and I really like that tile though <laughs> it looks so cute it's like and I love that it doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling I really like that they did that and it matches perfectly with the other um, paneling throughout the house but this is the sort of teen bedroom as you may have noticed a little bit ago I had it more of like a purple color and that new wallpaper that has the wooden like birch trees on it um I think they're birch trees, I'm not really sure. Uh, but anyways, I couldn't really get it to work, so I kind of cut out me messing around with that and decided to go with a more neutral bedroom, but definitely looking very teen and still kind of dark. It's, uh, it's what I wanted it to be. I kind of wanted it to be a darker teen room, but I just really couldn't get it to work with the purple. So yeah, this new camo bed is perfect for a teen, and they have a desk in here, some really awesome new posters and stuff that we got with this pack. Just looks super teenish oh and though also the messy clutter on the floor which is really nice as well i don't know i just really like this teen room and i think it looks very teen-esque <laughs> so if you are you know lacking teen items or things that you think look teenagery this pack's really good for yeah definitely capturing the teen vibe in my opinion and yeah <laughs> i don't know i really like this room a lot and the next room that i do is a little kids room I kind of wanted to do a room for each life stage, so I originally was going to do double beds in here. I thought that there could be twins, but yeah, and then I was like, well, maybe I'll just do the bunk beds and decided against it because since they're such small rooms, yeah, only one kid, but you could obviously add another bed in here if you wanted just to, you know, you could just switch it around a little bit because yeah, I think, I think it would work. It would just be very crowded, but I mean, how often do your, spit, your sims spend in their room anyhow? And you don't have to keep it as cluttered if I, you know, as I did it, if you want to uh, make more room for beds. But I want this to be kind of a really messy house and really lived in. And yeah, so that's what I was going for. But 
yeah. Oh, it doesn't just have soccer balls. It has baseballs and basketballs on it. So I thought this kid would be kind of sporty in this room. And yeah, I use the new doors as well that have the jackets hung on the back and the little like stickers and stuff on the front, which I thought was super cute because my parents let me do that like decorate not only the inside of my door but the outside of my door to my room i actually drew all over my door <laughs> like i drew a lot <laughs> and I, I drew on the walls on the inside of my room and i think now my bedroom at my parents house is my dad's office and he still has some of my drawings on the walls so this pack really made me like kind of reminisce <laughs> on my childhood so that was pretty cool but yeah and you'll go in there and it's got all my dad's stuff but then they'll have like at some point, I put hand, uh, paint all over my hands and stuck my handprints on the walls. So there's like paint handprints of my little kid hands on the wall. But anyways, I'm just adding lights to the exterior. So let me know what you guys thought about this house. And I'm so happy to be back. I can't wait to build more. And thank you guys so much for watching. And please leave any comments or suggestions that you have. And I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.